Welcome back to Scottish Movies and it's time for another episode of You Still Ain't Seen That? Uh, this is a series where I basically say what I've been watching um, from my collection, from streaming, from cinema, whatever. Um, and yeah, I've got five films to talk about uh, this week. So uh, first up, I went to cinema and I have watched Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So this is obviously the follow up to 1980. 88 was it uh beetlejuice now i'm a huge fan of the original beetlejuice loving it always have um and i was a bit mm, unsure about this you know going in because i'm thinking you know is it going to be a top gun maverick or is it going to be like coming to america uh and yeah i'm happy to say uh it was it wasn't like top gun maverick but uh you know uh, like what's the word sort of better it but it was a hell of a lot better than uh like coming to america put it that way uh yeah i, d I did enjoy this film um i think i rated it uh when i got out sort of seven and a half out of ten it, i think that's going to improve on um repeated viewings but um yeah it, it's obviously you got michael keaton back again um we've got uh Catherine o'hara winona Ryder. um and Jenny Ortega in this is um, Winona Ryder's uh, daughter in the film. And I thought, they, they, for starters, the, the casting's very good. Um, I think even Danny DeVito was in there somewhere as well, um, with a little role. And, um, yeah, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, not as good as the original, obviously. That I think it was, it was not, that wasn't going to be the case for me. But... Um, it is a lot of fun. Um, it's probably got a couple too many storylines going on at once. A few people have said that. Um, yeah, you had, um, what's her name, Monica Bellucci in there. It was kind of the introduce at the beginning of the film. And I thought, you know, it'd be pretty, it could be pretty good. But she's proper under, underutilised and, uh, yeah, she's she's hardly in it. Um Oh, whereas they then sort of went off another direction with this, like say, another different storyline. But um, yeah, overall, it's a fun movie. Uh, it, it could have been a disaster, but it's, I'm glad to say it definitely isn't. Um, I will be picking it up on uh, physical media when it when it comes out. Um, and like I said, I've got a feeling it's going to improve for me on on repeated viewings. So yeah, that's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Uh, next up, I watched a movie that I have seen before. It's been probably tw at least 20 years since I've seen it, though, so I don't mind obviously watching it again. Uh, and this was a film called Pure Luck with um, Martin Shaw and Danny Glover. This is basically uh, this sort of company has uh, Danny Glover to find uh, uh, the, the company boss's sort of daughter who's gone missing. Uh, and in order to find her, she's basically an accident prone person. Uh, and you think if they bring in someone else who's accident prone, they'll, they, they, it'll be uh, easier to find her. And this is where Martin Short comes in. He, he works for the company and he's basically just a, like a walking disaster. Um, you know, he, he walks into wall, doors, um, falls off chairs, and just uh, anything that could go wrong is just a disaster area when it comes to uh, bad luck. Um, and they think, yeah, he's going to help uh, Danny Glover uh, find this guy's uh, missing daughter. And, uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Uh, it's, like I say, it's been years since I've seen it. Um, if you can hunt it out anywhere, I would recommend checking it out. It's just a fun 90s comedy. I think it's from 1991. Uh, I, I, I don't think I've seen a, a bad film with uh, Martin Short, to be fair. I think he's always entertaining and... Um, no exception here. Um, yeah, so that's pure luck. Uh, next up, I watched Despicable Me 4. Um, yeah, this is obviously the latest film with uh, with old uh, Steve Carell as, as Gru. Um, and obviously got the minions in there. And along for the ride in this one, he's got a little son, Grungy, uh, Grun, Grun, blah, blah, blah. Gru Jr. Uh, and he kind of have to go on the run. for uh, The family goes on the run from... Um, uh, like he's uh, sort of the big enemy, and um, yeah, it's, it was all right. Um, I, I, I'll be honest. I watched uh, the second Minions film not too long ago, and I think I probably preferred that. 
Um, and for me, probably, I think it's Despicable Me 2 will always be the, the best for me. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the other ones, to be fair, but from what from memory, uh, I think that was probably my favourite. But um, yeah, this one, it wasn't bad. Um, I, it's not something I'm going to probably pick up on uh, physical media down the line. Um, I'll be honest, I think uh, the Despicable Me series is something that I'm going to probably get rid of me, me Blu-rays that I've got, because it's not something I watch that regular, and it's the sort of thing that's on TV and, and streaming all the time. And you can always get your get your hands on it, so yeah, it's not something I'm too bothered about. I'm probably removing it from them from them sort of movies from my collection, sort of slow it down a bit if I'm honest. But it's, it's not they're not bad films, but um, yeah, maybe it's just just me and my good old age of fifty two now, and um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know, but um, that's become me for it's worth a watch um, if you like the others. So next up. Uh, I watched, and this is the only film in this uh, video that I actually got a physical release for. I watched The Hitcher, and this is the 2007 remake. Now, I've seen the um, original Hitcher with Ruck Hauer. It took me about 25 years to watch that. Um, I had the DVD for a long time. Uh, and I only watched it, I think it was just last year, and it's a really, really good movie. Uh, that is one I would like to upgrade onto Blu-ray when it eventually comes out. Um, but yeah, I picked this 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 um, remake up uh, in a charity shop not too long ago just to sort of see what it was like. This one stars Sean Bean as the Hitcher, uh, and a, um, what's the girl's name? Uh, an actress called Sophia Bush, and a, and a guy called Zachary Knighton. Uh, now I'm not familiar with them. But I submit the girl was pretty good. Um, in this, it, 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 was a, it was a remake, it was okay. Um, I mean, ultimately, you know, um, the Hitch is going to die because, like, it's Sean Bean and he dies and everything. But, um, yeah, it, it was okay. It's, it's one of them, was it really necessary? Probably not. But um, if it's sort of uh, on TV late at night, it's if we're, worth checking out. But it, it, it's definitely not as good as the original. Um, it had its moments, but and like I said, the girl's worth watching in it. She was re really nice as well, and she she's pretty pretty good actress as well. Um, but yeah, it was just okay, really. And that that's a, that's a hitch from two thousand seven. Um, and finally, uh, the last film I watched was actually uh, a movie on Amazon Prime, um, which was a sort of it was like. Um, on, is it on demand or on rental or something? And it was Sting. Uh, yeah, I got um, a sort of free rental off when I last signed up for Prime, and um, and I got a reminder of it saying, "No, do you want to get the use use this up before you lose it?" So yeah, I used it and uh, uh, rented um, Sting, which is the film from early this year, where it's basically about this girl that's uh, got a pet spider, and. Uh, Oh, basically, over the years, it's, it's from basically out of space, and uh, over the years, it sort of grows in size in this apartment block, and basically starts killing people. And uh, I mean, I, I've not got a problem with spiders. I'm not really someone who's scared of spiders at all. Um, but this, this, so this wasn't particularly scary for me. Um, and it's, it's not the best spider film out there. I think that definitely goes to arachnophobia. But it wasn't bad. It was a bit of fun. Last half hour really, really kicks in. Um, I think it was a bit slow to get going. But yeah, the last half hour it really kicks in with the spiders wreaking havoc. Uh, it was pretty fun. And uh, yeah, um, again, would pick it up on physical media. Don't know if it would pick it up on physical media, if I'm honest. Um, it's probably a streaming film for me. Um, I, I might watch it again down the line if it was on Netflix or Prime. I get uh, obviously Prime for free again, but I don't think I'd be bothered about picking up the um, physical release. But uh, yeah, so that that is Sting, and uh, yeah, that is the end of the uh, video. So yeah, that is the five films I watched in the last week or two. Um, comment down below if you've seen any of these. What did you think of the new Beetlejuice movie? You know, what do you think is of, of, of Sting? I use afraid of spiders. Don't bother me. Um, rats I don't like. Mm. But yeah. Um, 
But yeah, comment down below. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon for another video. Bye, guys.